Okay. Should we get started now? We have two guests. Let's say hi to our guests. Hi, guests. After watching me start up, they're probably not likely to come here, but that's okay. And what we're going to do is we're, today we're going to talk about the future of design, the future of sustainable design, the future of construction. And all of you know I live in a five-year bubble. So I live five years from now. I found that if you live 10 years from now, nobody knows what you're talking about. But if you live five years ahead, people can get it. And so this lecture is about where we're going to be in the next five to 10 years in terms of design. And of course, as a review, oh, these lights should be on. As a review, um, we want to talk about integral theory and we want to talk about holistic and learning how to have four lenses simultaneously. When we walk down the street, we're looking through the world through four lenses instead of one. Most of us use one. We think like engineers, like architects. We think like this or that. And the, the 21st century person can think in multiple perspectives simultaneously. And that sustainability is really looking at subjective and objective points of view simultaneously. And it's also about the collective and the individual simultaneously, right? This is new. It's not really new. Some people are actually pretty good at this already. This just gives a framework to things that we've already been able to do. And we use the I, it, we, and its sub subcontext or abbreviations to understand this. And then, of course, we have our experiences, which are completely subjective, by the way. You and I can be in this room and have a completely different experience. Have you ever gone to a lecture and you said, that was a great lecture, and the other person says, that was horrible, right? So that's completely subjective versus something like, uh, what's going on here? Something like behaviors are, I got a 98 on my test. I got a 74 on my test. These are facts. These are things that are very real. And certainly a cultural perspective in the 21st century in this country right now, unfortunately, cultural perspective is really, we, we are in what's called an empathy deficit disorder. Remember I talked about empathy? We're having a lack of empathy in our culture right now. We're seeing this on the news. We're seeing it everywhere. And finally, our systems, which most people think of as sustainability, we think of ecological systems, et cetera. Now, biophilia hypothesis, this is a terrible slide, I apologize for this, but biophilia hypothesis suggests that there is an instinctive bond between human beings and other living systems. And this is Mr. E.O. Wilson, and you all have read the book, I'm sure, by now, right? Because you guys read books every week, and just in your, now I know you didn't read the book. Um, he defines biophilia as the urge to affiliate with other forms of life. Biomimicry or biomimetics is the imitation of model systems and elements of nature. So biomimicry and biophilia are really, really, really different things. And you're going to sense some sarcasm coming into my tone of voice. I'm very frustrated with these terms because they're being used extremely naively in design studio. Students say, well, I have a green roof. I have a biophilic project. No, I think it's got to be a lot deeper than that, right? So I'm going to use integral theory to help us sort through biomimicry, biophilia, I'm going to talk about something called herbophilia. No, it's not about smoking things. It's URB. Um, so biophilia is in the upper left-hand corner. It has to do with our experiences with nature, how we feel, how we respond emotionally and instinctually. We're going to talk about dematerialism tonight. Bucky Fuller's concept of ephemeralization. I can't even say it. But really, we don't need all these material elements in our lives, do we? We just need a roof over our head, right? Nothing else. We're going to talk about herbophilia. So if we have a love of nature, we also have a love of cities. Lots of people live in cities, right? And then we're going to talk about biomimicry and those kind of things that you all expect to hear about in a sustainability course.